Hi guys. Um, hi guys, can you guys hear me? I welcome everyone. Okay, so today topic is about live trading section. All right, if you have any pair, you want me to have a look for you, you can request. Okay, let me see our chat. Um, hi, hi guys, good morning, good evening from Singapore. Okay, my name is Peggy. <laughs> Hello, okay, there are quite a number of people. Okay, guys, so basically, um next next Monday, actually that gonna be um webinar for education, which is ICT, okay, which is past two, but I think we will um push to two weeks later because um next week I'll be on leave. Okay, so um that's why I will push to two weeks later, but next Next week is gonna be others um topic. Okay, if you want to follow the ICT, which is last week, I teach you guys just keep it out, keep an eye on the email. Okay. Um there's a question. Do we have recording section before? No, um, there is no recording. Okay, that's why I think Tigmu they recommended you to join the webinars. Okay, so before I um start the webinars, I told you guys before that um you guys can go to Thickmail, okay, and register for a Thickmail Trader Club, okay? Uh, but I don't know why I cannot log into my account here, but I show you guys over here. So basically, if you go to um, the, 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 the client tool, okay, the client tools over here, there is Thickmail Trader Club, okay? If you already have the account with the Thickmail, Okay, um, this is all the requirements over here. That's uh, the tier. Okay, let's say if you have like 200 deposit or two or more than um, 200 here. Okay, you can join the Take Me to the Club over here. Okay, so basically over here you get a chance. No, not a chance. You will talk to me and my team. Okay, about any pair that you want. We also send a trade setup. As well, but I don't know why I cannot cannot log into I cannot log into my account. Okay, I want to show you guys um why I cannot log in. Um, like last Friday, okay, I sent the trade setup goal. Okay, it's already hit the TP, which is I think one thousand over. Uh no point, which is about hundred over pip. Um, just let me try one more time. I don't know why I cannot access. Okay, just want to show you how it look like if some of you guys missed the uh, last section. Um, so basically just go here. Okay, I will send the link um, over here uh, to the chat box. Do I have this guy here? Not everyone. Okay. Already sent right here. Okay, you guys can have a look and just sign on. 
just sign up and then you can talk to me okay about trading oh, i don't know why i cannot um hold up over here that's not good okay let's just start our section okay um so basically it's just a quick recap feature like you know you will get um we will send me and my team will send a trade setup i think more than 10 trade setup okay to the uh think me trader club okay let's say you have any any question about trading you can just ping me as well all right Okay, anyway, just start our session today. Hi, guys. Again, welcome, everyone. So today's section is about live trading section. Before the webinars, just a disclaimer first, guys. The material provided for information purpose, purposes only, all right, should not be considered at investment advice. So if you come to trade, please do your own diligence, all right? And high risk warning, CFD are compact instrument and come with high risk of losing money. So um, you should consider whether you understand how CFD work and whether you can afford to take the high risk of losing your money. Okay. About myself, my name is Peggy. I'm an investment analyst at Aeroflotten Group. Okay. So you will see me and my team every Monday. Okay. Same time every Monday. All right. Okay, let's just start our webinar today. Quick, quick, quick. Mm. Let me um sign into trading view. Okay, um, just to let you guys know, tomorrow we have a major news, okay? So tomorrow we have a lot of major news tomorrow, okay? Okay, let's just go here. Um, okay, so today, uh, okay, let's just look at, uh, okay, this is my, 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 my sales zone, guys. <laughs> okay, for um, go, let me just um, big look. Okay, now let's just look at the DXY first. Okay. Um, just before we start the webinar, just a quickly quick look on calendar. Um, okay, I just filter out those like right, uh, high impact news. Okay. Um, so tomorrow we have um JPY, we have Aussie, we have Yen, we have Hotsey, we have Canadian, and we have um uh USD as well. And you can see that this week, which is tomorrow, Tuesday onward, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we have a high impact news. Okay, so you guys just have to watch out, which is this entire week. Okay. Okay, look, let's just look at our DXY. I put the watermark for you guys. Okay. Um, for the daily time frame first, okay, basically for a uh, data, if you want to look at the, um, like the five key support and resistance, so basically I see it, it's my first resistance, which is, this is like, um, over here. That's why now price is at the resistance and falling, basically it dollar, the link is falling, EU, TU, and go will be rising, right? Okay. Okay, this is how is head four look like. Right? Head four is look like here, but basically in head four, I might have to adjust somewhere around here. And then you will miss the entry, but it's okay. I always draw my um key support and resistance based on head four. I will I identify this in my first resistance, and this is my Second support for the DXY. Okay, you may use Fibonacci. Okay, we draw Fibonacci from your swing high to swing, swing low to swing high here. This one should be, I think, 50% or 30.2. Okay, about 30.2% here at the 
first part. So first, we need to identify the key level first. Okay. And this one, I will put, either you can put here. Okay. I will put here at my second support. And let's say you want to use the extension, like over here, you can do the extension like here to here, right? And then you will see that pride is at the extension for 161.8. That's why pride is falling from this level, right? You can see that this is an extension, which is 161.8. Okay, that's why pride is falling. Or um, either pride is break above this uh, high, and then you want to know where the pride stopped. That's how we stop at 161.8 right here. Okay. Um, let's say second resistance basically right here. Okay, so now um dollar I think still can falling or we will wait to buy here. Okay, at the pullback support level for the DXY. That's why EU is rising, which is basically my sell zone for um, um, EU. Okay. Either I'll put here, but I will keep a watch out at this level as well. But here. Uh, okay, this one I draw since uh, Friday, I will move. Okay. Okay, this is it. Okay. Yeah. Is my first resistance. Again, my second resistance. I'll put here. But again, let's say if they break above this one, the next sell zone is this level. Okay. Um, because this one should be like up with fifty percent somewhere around here. So if you want to enter, okay, uh, we have a two zone to enter, okay. One is a this one, which is now. You enter here. The next, the next, I mean the next order, okay, should be right here at the neckline, right? Because this is considered an end pattern already. Like this already considered end pattern. Usually, either they come here, okay, and falling, or they go to here and then falling. Okay, if you want to see that for my first support, I highlight the zone because this is my um here, which is my uh, support zone, which is from this week to this body. Okay, these are the zone, but then you can see that price um did not really come in, it just touched here and then reverse. Okay, so basically we we'll wait to short either this zone or this zone. Again, uh, our confirmation always in the low lower time frame, which is either M15 or M5, which is over here. What you can see, you can see we can see that it's, um no, that is not a good confirmation, but there may be a divergence here in M5. So if you short here, you can short here within this is the area for you to short one and two. Okay, you consider. Again, we will aim here. First, I thought that price will come to like first support right here because if you were to use the extension at the first support, it's at 161.8. Right? But they only come, they did not come to extension right here and then they're rising. So again, we don't use extension here. Um, I will have, I think I will wait. When price come to this zone or like this one or maybe the next level which is second resistance which is um my another entry okay because there is no confirmation for us to short here again if we short here then you need to manage your lot, lot size okay yeah i will do that i will just go to those i major pair right here um gj uh let's just look at GBPSG first. Again, um this is my level in last week, still did not change. Okay, for uh GJ um GU, sorry, GBP 
USD in H4. Basically, this one used to be my like support level, right? This one used to be my support level, but one price break, I think I will get this one. One price break, you wait for price to break back, which is you will get this anti and then selling, right? And then what you can see here, okay, I draw extension like this because one price is falling somewhere here, pull back, you know that it hits your TP right here at extension 127, and then now price is still falling. Okay, and all here, even though I put my resistance right here, but um, you can see that actually this is my, uh, how to say, it? yeah, it's my supply zone, okay, drop, base drop, and then we can say the price is still falling. Again, if price break above my first resistance, okay, the next entry me is right here. Okay, even though I identify this in my uh, next overlap um, resistance level, but I want to see if the price will fall from here or they go up somewhere here and then continue fall, which is right here at the next line. Okay, right here. I go to smaller time frame. Okay, what you can see here in M15, right? You can see that last Friday, a Thursday or Friday price break below the support level in head four, pull back, okay, and become resistant, and then you sell here, okay. I think from here you will get a few pip, right? Let's just say this level. How many tip be falling? Um, about how will you this one? If you enter at this level, thirty five pip, okay. From here to 35 pip, that is good enough for scalping as well for um 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 currency pair. Okay, now it's falling. Let's you want to look at H uh four. Okay, either price come here, you shot, or you wait to buy at this level. Which is, this one is um daily daily time frame here. Okay, um I think. If you to use FIBO, it should be 61.8%. Okay. So that's why um just wait over here. And then here is your TP. Okay. TP is just slightly before first resistance. If price falling, okay, we're going to go long from this level. Okay. And was it our second support? We do have 78.6%. Okay. I think I can do some no, extension, but just not extension um one six one point eight that is all um below right here. So we're not gonna use it. Copy this on. Okay. Okay, it's falling from here. If you don't have if you don't have entry, if you want to short now, just um be careful that if price go up here, if you want to scalp, or if you can wait, you can wait at this level around 1.2712, okay, for the GBP. Um okay, somebody asked me for the UJ. Basically, UJ, um we do have a news right tomorrow. It just you just think that okay, just pick this your first resistance. Okay, first resistance, but some of some people will just pick at this level. Okay, to me, I'm not gonna pick that, I'll pick at the uh the candle right here. So I think price still can rising a little bit more. Uh oh, you can use stochastic as well. Whatever we we run, right? You can use it. Um, are you 2133? Okay, okay, we'll use stochastic to find hidden support and hidden resistance. So, oh. haven't yet. You see, to me, I uh, uh, it's haven't uh, reach my my this is my resistance level, my little bit more. Let's see. 
just drop a click to make it bigger. Um, again, or if you, I, uh, okay, if I will adjust, I will might be here. Okay. And again, if you want to highlight the zone, that will going to be something like that. Okay. For the first resistance. Uh, I think that will be light up with 78.6%. Somewhere here. And this is your first support. Okay, you were to look at H4. If you ask me why I pick to um find a uh, key support and resistance in H4, because in H4 you can look at the level, three level very uh, clearly, right? But if you were if you were to look at the lower time frame, they will see that a lot of um level. So it best to just look for H1 and H4, or maybe H1 above, okay. If you were to look here, right, at this level. You can see the price come either you can say like this one could be um overlap um the, um resistance you can just say resistance here right one price break above this resistance you can see that this one pull back right and become supporting pull back at this candle and continue rising right you can see this is the first um support level and second support is going to be this level for me. Okay. Um. Let's say they break above this, and definitely they will just go to like this level, which is multi swing high, second resistance. Okay. So now, either you wait to chart here. Okay. What about the lower time frame? Uh, tell us right here. Okay. You look at M fifteen. Um. This is okay. If let's say you want to scalp, right? I go to the lower time frame right here. Let's say I see that mm, this one you can see in 15 one price go up here. Okay, you can see that there's a bearish like divergence, right? Versus the um I sign. You can double click to make it bigger. You can see that. Price is make a higher high and then indicator is make a lower high. Okay, from let's say you chart from here for scalping, right? Um, let's just say you see a disc candle from here to here, you get 28 pip. You see from because let's say you see that price made makes a um high high, but indicator is make a lower high. Okay, let's say you enter at second candle and then you get like from this week, okay, or you'll get 28 pip, or you will TP as like this, um, like here to this, this candle, the body, which is this one, you'll get 25 pip, okay, for scalping, that's good enough as well. But in the higher time frame, which is head four, I think price uh, still can go up to this area. Okay. Okay, US thirty. Sure, I will check the US thirty for you. Um. Okay, let's just go for the US thirty with the Dow Jones, right? Okay. Let me just. Okay. Um. I think for. Dow Jones, right? If you were to look at the daily, you know already that price is already make a, uh, like a equal high or M pattern, or I just say make a double top, okay? Or you can say equal high right here. But anything is possible because we're going to have a news to, like the entire week. Where well, you can see right here, right? Or you can see at the week right here. Um, this is really nice level for the daily time frame right here. Okay, let me just put first support first. Why there's a gap here? Okay. 
Okay, let us just look at weekly. Okay, you can see the weekly is make a, a triple equal high. Right, this is this week coming down. I think, I think price still can continue to fall, right? Say like last week, price go up here still um falling. Let's just go to H4. Okay, there's a gap here, right? Then there's a gap, and then after that, price is reverse and close the gap already. Oh, mm. so, H4. Okay, I. But again, for support, this could be identified as the support in H4. Um, but. Let me see. Zoom, zoom. Um, it's very hard to find for support. Okay, I will pick this one. That's my first support, which is hmm. Only three point six percent for weekly, which is a full support for daily, should be second support in head four. Okay. You can see though this is the zone, yeah. This is a daily. Uh, okay, to me, I'll just put this one at my intermediate, which is if price break above this uh, level, okay, it will continue to fall, which is if you want to, you can wait like price to pull and then continue to the first support right here, okay, for the daily, which I think we do have 23.6% uh, people from our weekly time frame. Okay, if you have to look at um H4, this is very nice overlap support level. Okay, either you wait for price to pull back and you continue, or if you put a sell stop, just manage your loss size. Okay. And let's say um I still identify this is my first resistance. Okay. They need to break 30, what 38 K or Three eight five seven six, which is around this um number, okay. Break either pull back and then you continue to chop for down zone. But this is really nice overlap support level, which is right here, okay. Go back to. Let me see, chef. Um, okay. Um, this is the resistance level. Price you can go up more at this level. Okay, we do have seven eight point six percent. Okay, whatever the number that break above those are uh, um Fibonacci level, we're not going to use it. The number that is still valid is seven eight point six percent. Okay, so we'll use. 78.6%, you may highlight the zone, which is here. And this is red resistance level. Okay. This is your first 
the plot. And this is your second support. This is your second resistance. Oh, this is a daily. Yeah, but daily is very clear. Uh, I'll just go to, um, okay, hash, hash one. Okay, if you want to look at hash four, sorry, hash four, I thought, I think last week I do my trace setup based on like this level. Okay, I thought like, okay, this is my resistance level. I'm short from here, but then pry break above, right? Pry break above, they pull back, then form. This is turn up level, it become my first support. Very breakable. Okay. I mean I'll consider the first support and for hit four. And then um this is my second support. Um I'm not a swing, okay. So your swing shadow, you can look for hit four and day lee. Okay. Usually day trade, I will just look at hit four. Okay. So this price is rising already. So for first resistance in H4, I will adjust, okay? This is at right here, multi swing high. Okay, right here. It might be this one is called liquidity zone, right? In here, okay, the big of the body. So you have to wash out this level as well. If they break above, break above this one, okay, the next level, I think they can go. It can go up here, okay, which is this um, the next resistance for it for. Yeah, somewhere there, okay. I think this one you can use, okay, right here, use a um, projection, or we can use. Projection is. Almost back above uh, hundred percent right here. Okay, this is the level. Again, uh, um, whenever I identify the key support, key resistance, right? One price go up to like this level. You go to the lower time frame to find the entry. Like the confirmation could be either drive divergent price action or chart pattern in either M fifteen or M five. Sometimes you can look at M five. Then you can just uh place your order. Okay. Because sometimes if, if there is no major news, usually price will just um stop somewhere around here. But if there is a major news, then either you want to look for the confirmation or um just wait for the new release. Okay, after that you trade. Okay, for um okay, let me highlight the zone. Okay, this is your first visit sun. Okay. This is the first uh, part. Okay. This is my second. This one I will put. Like I say here, put it to me that meaning that let's say price is break above this one. Okay. The next one I will look is here. Okay. Right here. Over here, you can do extension. You will see that price is, let's say you chart from here, price break below this swing low here. You can do extension, which is you can see that price all the way down almost trigger 161.8 and then is reverse, meaning that this is your TP1 and TP2. Okay, we, this is how we use extension. I still wait here for my first um support. This one I just put like intermediate support. Which, which is not very strong. Okay, just pull like that, just monitor. 
Okay, the next level, yeah, is multi swing low support level. Okay, you can use people as well. You can see that we do have this one is close to 61.8%. Either you can just leave this one for 61.8% fit level, which is, I think, just now it close to extension. You can see that it's very close by, meaning that you short from here, your TP around this area. Okay. You can, you can see if you to look ahead for all the way we get the entry. This is your resistance level, right? And this is your second resistance. Okay, and this is your um support. And I think it's at 38.2 or maybe 50, I think 50 slightly below. Okay, okay, I choose 50 since it's close to 50% right here. Second support. Is when price come to here, right? I think over here should be at 78.6 percent. Oh, I'm wrong. No, nothing here. So we okay. For example, when you draw Fibonacci, right? Like over here, and then you see that okay, our Fibonacci retracement. Okay, we only use 23.6, 38.2, 50%, 61.8, and 78.6%. Right, and one price break above the certain level, right? Like here to here, it's invalid. Okay, the next resistance, I mean, the next level that you can use, which is 78.6 percent, but in this case, it not line up with my um resistance level, so I'm not going to use put 78.6 right here. But if price come here, there may be some hidden. Uh, hidden base right here for my another strategy, but in this case, we not use um people are uh, retracement. Okay, what we can see here in the lower time frame, nothing. Um, nothing here. So I'll move. Okay, let's see. It's back to see. Look at this. Why you can see right. You can see that this why I think it's still rising because our key resistance is right here. Okay, so I think it's still either from here rise or from here and go down. Now I think potential, I think we're uh, heading to first resistance first and then falling. Okay. Um this one in head four. What we can see just now. Oh, the um, is divergent here. Wow, this is very strong. Yeah, there's divergent at we say um just now, right? This level, but this just like M5. Okay, still falling. Okay. Um, Aussie, we done already. You can, you can see that you can rising because um dollar index is rising. Okay, dollar index is rising. Um, give it dollar also falling. First resistance, second resistance. Right here, I think they already um. Triggers 161.8, which is extension, already done. You can see, right? It's here at the, um, this one, this one is a, used to be like pullback support, but the break below it. So now it's become the resistance level. Um, but you were to look at daily, it look like that. Okay. So in daily, you can see that one price is go to like, um, this um resistance level for the daily here, right? You can see this is your first resistance in daily. You can see the price action, right? This is a price action, and another one is price action over here. Okay, so now if we withdraw in the daily, potential price will come to um break. Let's say if they break below this um low, 
Okay, my next move, which is the next one, I will look for this um, extension for daily. Okay, right here. Um, let me let me move. Okay, what we can see here. Okay, no my. Um, I still put this one as my first uh, part. Uh, extension here is not aligned, but I will pick either um this one is my second support. Okay, we use our extension to help us to find support at uh or resistance level. Okay, which is able to go right here, I think. But at this level, somewhere around here. So we're going to use extension. And I will leave extension 161.8 right here. Okay. Um Okay, that is the question. Will I get this video next time? Um, I don't think Stickmail will upload on the YouTube. Okay. Um, ICT is not for today, guys. Uh, ICT is for the next two weeks. So today about live trading section only. So basically today you can um um request for any pair. So basically today I. First, you need to identify the key support, key resistance uh, first, okay? Um, and you are doing a trading term or just chart lipstick. What what you mean chart lipstick? I don't get it. Okay, the ICT approach is not this. ICT, you need to find the liquidity zone. Let's say you get stop out, you need to go to the lower topic to find entry, okay? But um today I I don't want to go uh, so detailed because today it's not um education it's all about light trading so basically first like I like to identify the key level for example if you guys ask me either I draw support um or resistance based on um the body or the weight is really subjective okay you need to fine tune like you know a lot of it intersect each other like that this is my first support um level or if you want to get like highlight the zone this is your zone which is the wick and the body you can see that price break above this is your resistance level for oil pull back this area and then you can like you know go along from here okay um let me look for daily okay the daily actually this is the um we'll put this consider you we think that's a good um resistance level the resistance level here yeah. okay let's say if uh in head four you cannot find a key um level you can go a uh, high one top them higher which is daily but if you were to draw at the um, H4, uh, H1, and then you can go H4. Okay, oh, where is my level here? Okay, this one. I can use extension. I put here. You can see that price is rich extension 161. Either this is my first resistance, this is my second resistance in H4. Okay. You see, um, another um thing that you might have to watch out is that let's say in head four, right? We identify this one at the first resistance, which is somewhere extension here. Okay, one price break, like you know, somewhere at the resistance, you can go to hedge um maybe M fifteen. What you can see in M fifteen, okay. You can see that price come to this area in M15 here, okay, like here. If you go to mark this at your body, okay, price try to break above this um this zone, okay, right? You can see that like this zone, go up, push back, um, you know, um, push back. I mean, falling, falling, meaning that this area there's a there there is a seller right here. 
okay, for the um oil. Um, what about M um fifteen? Uh, so M thirty, M thirty still haven't closed yet, but if to go to M5, even clear, you can see the price action right here, price action, price action. Okay, and you can see that as long as um as long as price, the body cannot close above this area, okay, price will fall from this level. Okay, but how far it can fall, we don't know. Okay, we just trip based on whatever we can see right here. Okay. Uh continue to go. Go is already at my support level, guys, since last Friday. Okay. Because this is um the week here. Okay. And this is um my first support. And what you can see that price go to extension one, two, seven, and then rising. And this is the area that I'm looking for short, which is this zone. Okay, that's my this one. Okay, my first resistance. The millimo price already come. Okay. Just in point there, the more. Um second resistance. If you will just draw like that, you will get the entry right here. Okay, but price is make a lower high. Okay, that's why my uh second resistance. Um I will put right here. Meaning that let's just say 2170 or if you put at the week, which is around this one. Okay. Um just highlight the zone for second resistance. Okay. And you zoom in and see. Somewhere at 30.2 percent right here. And let's put 30.2 percent right here. Okay, let's let's see whether price will falling from this um you know pull back resistance and continue falling. Okay. Um any pair you guys want me to have a look for you? Dow Jones we done. Okay, Dow Jones is say still falling. I think still can fall. Okay, right here. What's about um this one is good zone to for you to to sell because this is a liquidity zone. Price action right here in M um in H4, right here, right? You can see that. That's why you can see the price cannot go above in um H4. Um you can go to the lower time frame in M15. Okay. You can see the price action also here, price just ranging. Right, right here. You can see it's falling already. And this is this is um you can see if you know like in head four, this is a resistance level, price break above, right? It will pull back support level. This one now it's become overlap. So you can identify this one at your first support level. Okay. And this one is your second um support right here. Yeah. Okay. Um this is my first resistance, of course. You just put um either you put here is your multi swing high. Okay. What about daily? This should be long ago. Okay. I think projection should be done. Remember? High break above the um projection. Okay, so now they stop. I don't know why they stop right here, but you were to look at daily, like they cannot go above. Zoom in and see, right? The week. Okay, what you see here. You can see open and closing almost the same at this candle. Zoom in and see, right? Uh like almost almost right, but I can see here. Closing. Open here. Now they haven't closed for daily. But what you can see that closing. These are open. 
what is the price at the body here? Which is around this price. Hmm. About around this price. Okay. Now let let's see whether this uh candle in 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 um daily will close be red or green. But this is liquidity zone. This is the area, okay, the wick and the body, and the um, closing price and opening. I think this is the same. This is the higher that price is gold today. Again, at the lower one, we see we will still see that whether price will close where. Okay, now I haven't closed yet. Any pair, guys? Um, um in it, right? You have a question. What what is the equation? Because you're asking me, um, to, um, or you just do, doing chart lipstick or lipstick candlestick? Is it? What do you mean? G B P A U D. Okay. Do you have any um position open for the daily? Definitely, this is a um resistance level. Okay, right here, this resistance level, and what you can see here, daily. Um, this is a support level for daily, right? You can see that. If you want to just highlight the key level, you will get the entry right here. And this is called a prior action, also can, but um, let's just go to now. Now, consider for GBP AUD is uh, ranging in daily, okay, because they're still at the first support and first resistance. Um, what about H4? Okay, for H4, this is um. First of all, which is right here, should be ex um, retracement 50%. Okay, 50%. This daily, but this um, page for is look like second support. Oh. They can support right here. Okay. Extension. This could be first support. It okay. This is the first support for daily. Actually, it's second support for hit four. Okay. Um I could identify this as my first resistance. This is my second resistance for hit four. Okay. And let's say if price break above my first resistance, which is if they like that, let's say if they do like that, right? Either I still can use like extension to see if price break above. Let's see my extension should be uh, my first resistance, I will keep, which is uh, 127, which is somewhere around the wick and the body, the zone. Let's see if highlight like that, somewhere here, okay? So now I see that okay. Price is you know respect this first resistance, so I cannot do extension anymore. I just leave it like that. My first resistance now price still falling. This is right here, okay. And again, in the bigger time frame, price is still ranging okay between first resistance and first support, but in head four it look like this. Okay, let's say price come to this area, oh, like um, this one. You go to M fifteen. What you can see for info, uh, confirmation, right? The confirmation. What you can see, um, 
right here. You can see this is consider prior action as well. What's about M5? Um, okay, you can see M5. M5, there is a divergent over here. Like when, when price go to that level, which is if you identify key support and key resistance correctly, right? When the price go to the level, you will see lower time frame, which is either price action or divergence right here. You can see that there's a bearish divergence right here in M5, right? When price go to the level, what about M30? M30 is nothing, but again, very easy for you to like, just to like um take notes, right? Whenever price go to that resistance level, right? In the lower time frame, okay, price go down here, let's say you chart here, right? Then after that you see, oh, price is like um rising. Some of you guys, you might scare, oh, you scare the price might, you know, break above this one or continue like that. But uh, some of you, you might close with break even or you just close first a little bit of the profit you close. But you need to wait for the candle to close. For example, like here, this candle is called with red, uh, with green, okay. And let's say your position over here. Let's just say you have an open position like short here. But then this candle like you green and this are close with green, you need to wait for one more candle, which is the third candle. If price really like, you know, want to break above this one, this one might close with green. Okay, my somewhere here, let's say if this candle close with green, have the uh, rejection here, you need to, you still need to hold the position, okay? You need, you will close one price with close with green and the body close above this wick or this area. And then you may consider to close your chart position. But if you see that, okay, this candle is red and then the body is not this area, you hold your short position, okay? That's why some of you guys short here, price come there here and reverse here, you see, oh man, I should just close here. Maybe you scared already, price will go up here and then you just close with um, a few dollars, for example, then you can see that when you close here, then you can see price falling, you say, oh man, I should not close. You get what I mean? I think some of us uh, encountered that before. So just go to low time frame and read the candle. Okay. Any pair guys? One more pair before I close the webinars. Anybody asking me the question? Let me look for the question. Okay. Um, this why I say divergent. Sorry, guys, I just saw your um message. In which time frame? In which time frame? Ah, yes. Um, you you say head four, right? Yep. The head four one, you will see this is divergent here versus the I side. Yeah, there is a bearish divergence right here. Okay. Um, what's our news? Okay, we already see that the new for to this week is a major one. Okay, so you have to um keep a look on that. Okay. Um, I just learned the pool guy pool. Can you just tell me what? Okay. Um. Yes, yeah, so I think. Jake, so I, you may falling from here. And again, either you uh, wait to buy at the first support or you wait for the first resistance. Okay, we just have to see. Um, For the goal, okay, still rising. Again, this is the area that I'm waiting to shot right here. Okay, around price, it is 2155 to 2158. Okay. That is the zone. Or the easy for you guys is just um may consider like sales zone basically two one five five to two one six zero. Right. Okay, this is a sales zone you may consider. Okay, just manage your um loss side. Okay. Um what we can see in the lower time frame. We can the M15 um, can see the red red, but it's not really clear yet. Um, that M, M, okay, price could do like that, okay, 
it could be like that. This is a valid definition in M15. Uh, M5, sorry. You guys can see my uh, screen, right? Cannot, cannot. And versus the um, eye side, like they're going to make something like this. Okay, so um, either they could go up to 2168, 2158, sorry, and make a divergence. But right here, right, I, I can see that price is my reward from the zone. So the our zone, basically. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, oh, it's happening. Okay, let me end the poll. Okay. Um. Oh, you guys cannot. You guys cannot hear me. Please in which lower time frame? Okay, that's the question. Please in which lower time frame is divergent more effective? Um. Okay. Um, the higher time frame is the better. Okay, maybe um divergent happen in M5, M15. We will use divergent in M5, M15. Um only if prior, if the divergent happen in the area of the head four key resistance or key support. Okay. Okay, guys. Um for goal, I will tell you this is the, the area. Okay, you may consider for go in head four because go is come from the support level, which is this is due to be the swing high, right? Price is break above, now pull back, it become overlap. So either your sell zone is at 2155 to 2160. It break above this one, the next zone, which is here, it's at like one, 2169. Okay. Okay, guys, thank you so much for your time. We'll see you guys again in the next webinar, same time, okay, every Monday. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye for now, guys.